going on everybody so I am back uh, I am doing uh, today the Astro A50 wireless unboxing uh, quick look over review whatever you call it and mic test and um, yeah let's get uh, right to it once again these are the Astro A50's second edition so right there cameras not up here Steve down here so second edition so Astro, everyone knows they had the A40s, A50s out for a while. This is just the, the second edition of them. Apparently, they've made some tweaks to the microphone to make it better, which we will definitely find out. Uh, they made some tweaks to you know connectivity with all the uh, consoles and PC. Uh, they gave them a fresh new look, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, let's get this thing unboxed see what's in it just to give you some specs on it it's open aired headset so you can hear yourself uh the frequency is uh 20 to 21,000. uh it does weigh in at 363 grams uh it's over the ear and uh it is wireless 5.8 uh gigahertz and uh let's see what's inside uh it also is i believe it does dolby 7.1 now keep in mind you have to hook it to something that's kept that's compatible Dolby 7.1. So if you hook it to your, uh, you know, your sound card or whatnot using the optical out, make sure it's, you know, um, surround surround sound capable. Uh, Astro does always a pretty cool job with the boxing. You'll see there they got all the designs. It just looks real pretty. Um, you notice before when I did the Astro 50s, I wasn't that impressed with the mic. I really loved the headset and the comfort and everything and the usability of the mix amp uh, on the A40s I really did. Um, the A50s, I, the mix amp was okay, it didn't do as much, but you know, has the built in mix amp here. So you'll see here, this is the product. Uh, can it focus or no? We're not allowed to focus there, camera. All right, great. Uh, I got the white and yellow, it looks like, with the black. Um, uh, cushions and some black accents uh, Initial impression is that the headset really looks amazing. Uh, it's a soft touch material here It's not real heavy for being wireless uh, You do have the mic that flips down there. Uh, looks like they've changed the way the mic looks a little bit uh, You see you have the wiring now the yellow wiring. That's really cool. The top of it even looks nicer definitely a uh, 10 out of 10 on the packaging and design uh, the headset looks really, really uh, nice. It feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, yeah, that's my first initial impression. You still have the uh, normal ear cuff right there. Also inside here, you get the new uh, mix amp. You know, apparently they didn't change anything with this. Um, <laughs> still has the same same options right there on the back. You got your USB, your optical in, your opt. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You got optical in and out, so it's a pass through. That's kind of cool. Uh, you got your power, and look, they changed the power to micro USB, not mini anymore. Good job, Astro. And you got your auxiliary right there, so you can plug in like your phone. Now, what was cool with the Astro A40s is they also had an output here, uh, which was your three and a half millimeter. Uh, these do not have that, and on the top you have your power button. Let's take that plastic off, and on the bottom, look at that. Man, their packaging and products just look amazing. I, I really have to give it to them. Uh, if they do one thing right, they didn't have the mic right on that first Astro A50s. This one, it, it, all right, it, it looks really good. The inside of the box, you see there, just looks uh, really impressive. Uh, everything is just packaged really, really nice. So you get your uh, quick start guide right there stop uh do not return your gear to the store so okay um check this out awesome job astro full color manual doesn't get any better than that i mean doesn't get any better that's what products need to come with especially for 300 dollars. and i'll tell you what i hope the mic is good this time because if it's not for 300 dollars, once again it'll be disappointing uh but we'll see we'll get to that inside here we get the cabling for your power with the micro USB. You also get this bad boy here, which looks like it plugs, uh, oh, into the back of the mix amp, dur -dur -dur. that makes sense. Um, or wait, is that for your Xbox? I'm not sure, or we will find out. That may be for your Xbox, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's for your Xbox. Uh, that's the stand right here, another part of the stand. Uh, optical cable and everything that you need uh, that it comes with. So I'm gonna hook this bad boy up. Uh, we're gonna give it a mic test. 
I'm going to play with it, get a sound test, all the stuff, see how it sounds, go from there, find out what that cable is. Sorry, I don't have an Xbox One, so I'm not sure if that's what it is or not. But. All right. All right, so wanted to give you a quick test of the mic so you can see how it sounds and how others would hear you. Uh, hopefully, this is a little bit better. I haven't actually heard it myself, so hopefully this is a little bit better than the first generation of the A50s. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. This is actually kind of far away from my mouth, so this will give you an idea of how it sounds a little bit bent in, a little bit closer, and let's All go right, from there. so overview of the Asher A50. Uh, I don't know. What would you guys think about it? The, uh, the sound quality is definitely better. Uh, on the mic, so good job Astro, you actually made the uh, mic actually sound good and it, it doesn't sound like complete trash anymore uh, and having all those issues, so uh, you know, I gotta say it was, a, it was a pretty good mic, was it the best? No, but it was pretty good. Uh, I do like the options here, how you can hook up your Xbox controller, uh, made it micro USB charging. The headset feels really, really nice and the headset feels expensive. Uh, these did work on the PC for raising my Skype volume to my uh, normal uh, game volume. The uh, adjustable headband and the little pieces here on the headband, you know, so you can see how far you've adjusted it are great. The flip up mic is good. Uh, the packaging is amazing and everything it comes with. And it is a $300 headset. And you can use this headset with anything almost. I mean, anything that can put out an auxiliary sound or... Um, put out through optical so your xbox and your pc your playstation and things like that so is it worth the 300 dollars? it is it's definitely worth the 300 dollars if you want a pretty good wireless uh headset uh the sound is good too the bass is punchy it has a couple uh three different you know equalizers here on the back uh, it also has your volume rocker here so they did add a lot of nice things that i really really liked about the headset now i live in a townhouse i'm on the second floor right now and i have a basement that's on the very bottom you know obviously very bottom floor then i have my first floor I was able to walk almost pretty much all the way down to my basement and it worked great. Uh, so the range on it is really, really good. The battery life is good. The comfort and the look on the headset is definitely uh, amazing. And I have to say, when it comes to wireless headsets, they're really not that good. Um, they're okay. And usually the comfort on them is blah, it's okay. This, the comfort is great. I like how I, how I can hear myself. It's an open-end headset, you know, so I can hear myself. And the comfort's good, the sound is good. And uh, the only downside I, I, I wish that they did is I wish that they had software on your computer. So I wish that I can install software on my computer and control all these settings like the equalizer. Nothing in the startup guide gave me any information about the equalizers like on the back of the preset settings and things like that. I almost wish that Astro just came out with some PC software that you can install on your computer and take care of all your settings. Other than that, it's a great headset. Definitely check it out. If you like the Astro branding, you can get the A40s or the A50s. Who knows? Maybe I'll test out the A40s as well. I don't know. We'll see. But um, great headset, guys. Definitely uh, an upgrade from the old ones as far as looks. Okay? As far as the mic, it's a better mic. Um, and the mix amp here, you know, it's pretty easy to use. I mean, self-explanatory. But I really like it. Definitely a good headset for $300. Um, if you don't need wireless and you only need a headset for your PC, don't go out and spend $300. It's pointless. These aren't gonna give you anything more than a good $80 or $100 pair of uh, you know, headphones or, or, or $80 to $100 uh, headset that you can get uh, other than it gives you the wireless, gives you a cool look and cool branding and it works with all your, all your uh, gaming systems. So if you don't need that extra stuff, you don't need wireless, you don't need the extra gaming systems, don't get it. Go out and get a, a, a better pair that will work just plugging in hardlined into your PC. So other than that, they definitely get a thumbs up from me. If you're looking, at, if you're in the market for the wireless headset, you want to spend some money and get a really cool look and nice packaging and it works all your system, all your different gaming systems, definitely get this. Thanks for watching guys. Um, see you next time.